the second game of the battle in the 6-1-4 between Bishop Watterson, who will be the home team on the scoreboard, and River Valley, who will be the guest on the scoreboard. Bishop Watterson in white, River Valley in blue. Here we go. And the starters for Bishop Watterson, we got number one, Sophie Zeal. Bishop Watterson is in white. Uh, Mia Gill, number two. Cameron Sparks get the first two points of the game. Alexandria Mosholder, number 10. Lillian Mulligan, number 24. And the lady who had just scored is Cameron Sparks to wrap up the Bishop Watterson starting five. As Bishop Watterson with the steal. Let's push it up the floor. It goes up. Left hand layup is up, and it is good. Lily Mulligan. See, these ladies are fast out the gate. See if they can keep up with the last game that we had here in the battle of the 614. Yesterday it felt like each game intensified as the day went on. Now I have no thought that this won't be the same way as we see another steal by the Eagles. Bishop Watterson with the pass is stolen. By Lexi Hecker. Sophie Steele with the steal. Sophie Zeal with the steal. Yeah, that's a tongue <laughs> twister right there. <laughs> and Zeal shot is up and it is good. We have a 30 second timeout from River Valley. And Sophie is one of those players to watch for. I've seen her play a few times over the years. And she's a junior this year, and she just seems to be getting better with age and time. But these Eagles, they're coming out firing. And Coach Childs, he's like, uh, child, please, let's stop this right now. <laughs> oh, man. So as you see the replay there, Bishop Watterson, like he said, he's seen them play, man. They're, they're feisty. Pretty good, pretty good team there. 6-0 lead versus River Valley. River Valley. They are coming in at three and three. They did just play yesterday against Highland and did win 51 to 29. And again, Bishop Watterson played also yesterday. They won against Hillier Bradley, 36 to 23. So both of these teams, they have uh, some miles on their car or in their wheels already from the weekend. But Sophie sails hard to the basket and finishes it once again to give the Eagles an 8-0 lead. Sophie Seal doing a great job there. In the basket, the Valley with the basketball. They look to set up a play. Holly Snyder. Motion offense. Great defense by the Eagles. Well coached by Coach Sam Davis as Mia Gill with the steal. That's two time twisters. Three is up. And it is good from Alexandria Moshdor. Yeah, Mosh Holder, it didn't take her a lot. Once again, they just get the ball in their hands and quick to drop it. And finally, Lexi Hecker puts River Valley on the board with a big three, much needed three. Lexi Hecker with a big shot. Like you said, much needed as Bishop Watterson now. Has got everything to fall so far. 445 left here in the first quarter. River Valley in the zone. Great patient by Bishop Watterson. Almost got stolen there. Zeal shot is up, and it is good. Sophie Zeal. Sophie Zeal. Bishop River Valley with the basketball. Shot is up, and it is no good. Rebounding by Cameron Sparks. Give it up to Zill. Zill get it across the timeline. She looking to push. The ball is tipped, and it will stay with the Lady Eagles. Substitutions for River Valley. So though it's early in the game, River Valley may be down right now by 10, but it's still, still a lot of game. You see, with, with plays like this right here, big shots, big sh at the big times, they should be able to come back from this lead. That was Lexi Hecker with a big time three. Substitutions 
for Bishop Watterson. Yes. We get a couple subs here for Bishop Watterson. We have number 14, Megan going. She's a junior. Sub in. Mr. Watterson looking to run a play, patient with the ball. Take it in to Gary. Shot is up. It is no good, but it's rebounded by Sparks for the easy two. Cameron Sparks with the two great offensive rebound as that size is obviously going to be a factor for River Valley. Now you see a wide open shot right here. That just was a little bit short, routed off, but you don't see anybody boxing out Cameron Sparks, and that's why she was able to get that easy put back to get two more points on the board for the Eagles. Cameron Sparks, the junior for Bishop Watterson. I know Coach Sam Davis is very ha happy to have River Valley's with the basketball. Great defense by Bishop Watterson. They're running their offense here for River Valley. Hecker with the basketball. Surprisingly, I'm looking at Megan Clausing right now, number five for her with the ball right now. She's their leading scorer, and she hasn't really taken, taken any shots just of yet. Um, the defense of the Eagles has really been really high and haven't allowed for the Vikings to take too many shots, but we see they're being patient, getting the ball around. Not really an ill-advised shot there, but great hustle right there to get them the ball back, see if they set up something more. Yes, the shot is up, and it is no good. As River Valley has been unable to get anything on offense so far as River Va as Bishop Watterson's shot is up, it's no good, but rebounded by who else? Cameron Sparks. Shot is up, it's no good, but we have another offensive rebound by Lily Mulligan. So Sophie Zill will be patient and run the offense. High-low action. Great ball movement from Bishop Watterson. Shot is up. It is short, but who else? Cameron Sparks for the rebound. Now, there's a clear Sparks. advantage right now down in the paint. Not really a height advantage, but just a size advantage. And, you know, Sparks isn't doing too much of uh, getting down low and boxing out, but she's doing enough to where she's getting her chance, her team's, you know, many opportunities to continue to shoot that shot. So either they're going to have to play a little bit more defense, tighter defense, or they're going to have to get – Cameron Sparks out of the paint in order to get themselves a better rebound. River Valley with the basketball. Stippling defense by Bishop Watterson. The ball will go out of bounds. It will stay with River Valley. We have a whole platoon swap right here for the Eagles. Coach Davis is giving uh, his ladies some time to breathe as they have a 14-point lead here in the first quarter. They jumped out huge. River Valley look, look, will look to get some type of motion on offense here as it's a 17-3 lead here. Snyder with the basketball, guarded closely. A minute and 15 seconds left here in the first quarter. Shot is up, and it is no good. We have a battle for the rebound, and we will have a jump ball. It will stay with River Valley. Yeah, that's one thing that it has been here in the first quarter. If we see it's already a minute seven. This game is really moving by really fast. It hasn't been a lot of dead balls. It hasn't been a lot of fouls. We see just one foul here in the first quarter. So pretty clean game, but I think it's just a lot more of the Eagles shooting a lot of shots. Myla Kenny with the basket for River Valley. Much needed basket, 17 to five lead here in the first quarter. Bishop Watterson looking to take control of this game early. River Valley in the zone. Good patient by Bishop Watterson, the shot is up. It is no good, but it's a great look, rebounded by Holly Schneider. 37 seconds left here. As my partner said, Megan Clausen is River Valley leading scorer, and she only took one shot so far. Oh, 
Clausen with the ball. We have a foul on the play. You see the entry pass right there. It was kind of hard not to call that foul. I've also seen uh, Ava Roseberry play too, so I want to see if she's going to get active in this game. I believe she just went over. Snyder with the ball. Her shot is up. Her shot is good. Holly Schneider, 17-7 lead. Ten seconds left here in the first quarter. Draw to the left. Her shot is up. Her shot is no good. And at the end of the first quarter, River Valley 7, Bishop Watterson 17. This is the battle in the 614, elevated by Power. Elevated events on Yamo Sports. We'll be right back at the work more sponsors. How do you fuck We work at it all the time. When the local soccer team brought me to town, I needed a great vehicle to get to practice and my games. The champions at Buckeye treated me like family. That's how I Buckeye. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun? On the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new Pretzel Baconator. We're back here at Ohio Dominican University for the battle in the 614 second game between second Bishop quarter. Watterson and River Valley. River Bishop Valley. Watterson started out with the basketball lead at 17 to 7. Zeal with the basketball. That was a really good screen by Mulligan. Surprised uh, Zeal didn't take that shot. We have a foul on the play by number 21, Miley Kenny. Kenny. That'd be her first personal team foul number one. As Gill pass to Zill. As she steps out of bounds. And it will be River Valley basketball. Town 17 to 7. Hecker with the basketball. She gets over the timeline. Bishop Watterson going to a zone look here. We have a jump ball, and it will stay with River Valley. Great, great hustle by both girls, both teams. Subbing in for River Valley is number five, Megan Clausen. Clausen with the basketball. Bishop Watterson back in that zone. Great ball moving by River Valley. The shot is up. The shot is no good. Rebounded. Rebound will stay with River Valley as the ball is off of Watterson. River Valley looks to get it in. It does. Throws it in. We have a double dribble by number 44, Madison Ward. That's a great call by the referee. Uh, she put both hands on the ball. Watterson will start with the basketball here after the turnover. As Bishop Watterson calmly runs their offense. Zeal shot is up. And it is good after it rattled in. Sophie Zeal. Two three. The junior. It's nine points for Zeal already. River Valley patient with the ball. They hit the middle. Nice 
Ball's almost stolen. Yeah, that's two times in a row. They make another Aaron pass like that again. I got a feeling it's going to be going another direction. Great ball movement, great ball movement, great defense by both teams here. Both teams are being patient, not falling. She's double team here. We might have another jump ball, and we do. This time it will go to Bishop Waterson. Yeah, that defense of Bishop Waterson right now is seem to be a little bit too much for um, River Valley. They haven't been able to get any kind of penetration towards the basket. It's really slowing down their offense. As Bishop Waterson is patient in their offense. Ball hit the middle. Guarded closely. They took the ball to get the ball inside the camera sparks. And we have a foul on the play. It's over the back on that one. On Haley Snyder. 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 Number 40, and that's Emma Childs, replacing Viking 44, Madison Ward. Waterson get the ball in. Throw the ball to Zeal. Throwing it in to Cameron Sparks. You see the patience right now by Waterson. It was a couple open shots where I felt it was open shots. Yeah, yeah. But they went ahead and passed them up just to you know continue to move the ball around and get an even better shot. High low action. Cameron Sparks shot is up. But he's no good, but she is fouled on the play. That's a good high low action. Here we go right here as he talk about that patience. High low action because Lily Mulligan definitely had the shot there, but they know that Cameron Sparks has been getting her own down there, having her way. So high low action, I love that. The big high to low action. That's Cameron Sparks' first free throw is up and it is good. So if you're Coach Charles right now, like how do you combat with having uh, Cameron Sparks down there in the paint? How do you get her out of there in order to, you know, give your team and have some kind of, you know, hope in order to get some kind of rebounds down there? Because she's clearly dominating the game right now with her rebounding. Well, one, one thing that, that we know when, when you're in the zone, you're, you're vulnerable on the weak side rebound anyway. And Cameron Sparks, she's, she's big, she's physical. And so she's she used to that. So if anything, once you're in the zone, you're you're not going to get many offensive rebounds anyway. So because there's nobody really boxing her out. So I know they're small, and the reason they're going zone is because of that. As Bishop Washington get a steal, he throws it up. And easy layup for Zeal. As they're in the zone, but because they're small, but they need to go man to man because now you have somebody that boxes her out. But it's really nothing you could do with her because she's so big and strong that as. Emma Child steps out of bounds back to Bishop Waters. There's nothing you can do, but that's the best thing you can do. As that. You see, as soon as they get the ball in their hands, it turns into a track meet. It's 3 on one at this point. And Zeal's already halfway up the court. It's really getting ugly right now, really quickly, for uh, River Valley. You're down by 16. And I don't know, it's, how do you stop the, stop the bleeding? It's like... So... If me be, being a coach, me, I'm I'm not gonna drop back and, and get into that that zone that they're getting in. I'm gonna extend my pressure a little bit, you know, extend my pressure, see if they can handle the pressure that they're trying to give on us. So step up, make them defend, and then on the backside, if we gotta do it, now we speeding them up because let's see if Cameron Spark can dribble the ball the way she, the way that she's abusing us. Let's see if they can abuse them the same way. And if you're Bishop Watterson, just keep doing what you're doing. They're, that high-low action, if they're going to stay in that zone and they're going to leave the middle wide open, Coach Sam Davis said, hey, we're going to play our brand of basketball. We're going to throw it to the middle, and we got Cameron Sparks down there who doesn't miss often. So um, it's, just, it's just good basketball from um, Coach Davis. But if, if I'm River Valley, I, I'm picking up my pressure a little bit higher. Don't even allow Cameron Sparks down there to um, post up and, and do her thing. But right now it seems like she's out of the ball game right now. As Bishop Watterson will start with the basketball. 23-7 lead here in the second quarter. As they, they did exactly that. They 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 up their pressure. And once you up your pressure, you gotta steal. As Hecker get the ball. Goes into the post. Clawson with the ball guarded tightly by Zeal. A 
think River Valley, they're being patient, but at the same time, they need to be a little bit more aggressive and assertive and taking some of these shots. Like, you're passing the ball around. The more passes you make, the more, the closer that the defender is starting to get. And they obviously have had steals already. Yeah, absolutely. You're right about that. So hey. here, there's a shot there. I mean, it's, it has to be at some point you have to pull the trigger. Well, although Bishop Watterson is doing a great job defensively, I don't think it's to the point where they're not even looking to shoot. And that's a good shot right there. You got, you got to take it. You got to take that shot. Especially with Watterson. They're, they're stifling defense. And that's not the shot you want there, but it's a shot. And Ava Roseberry goes up and gets the rebound after you Megan Clausen's shot. But you can't you can't do nothing if you look at the rebound. I mean at the replay here by Ava Roseberry. You can't do nothing if you're not looking to be aggressive. If you if you're just gonna pass the ball around, that's exactly what um Coach Davis want. Right. No, I know you're passing the ball around, hopefully to get an open shot or find a weakness inside of this defense, but right now this they're a strong chain link right now. There's no weak link in this in this armor of the, the Watterson Eagles. Yeah, and, and that's and that's absolutely right. And to your point, like that's the type of team you want. It, when I take my best players out and I bring in the the second team, they do the same thing. It's not there's no like downplay. Yes. She hit one free throw, 23-8 lead here, 313 left in the third in the second quarter. Howard Dominican University battling the 614. Had a shootout with Johnstown and Harvest Prep as Johnstown won by three points. And granted, that was a shootout. They had went back and forth from knocking down shots and Sophie Zill takes another shot and that one's off. It's gonna be in possession of River Valley. But uh, I don't think this game is downplayed by the magnitude of, you know, the offensive production that we've seen last game. Mm -hmm. I think if River Valley actually is starting to take shots, if they can actually be aggressive on the offensive side, I think that we can still have that same type of game. When you make one shot right here, you're just a 13-point lead, yep, down 15 now. You're right back so, in it. Yeah, 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 they're not out of it. They're just not – I don't see their offensive production being that high right now. As there you go, that's a high level shot right there. The shot is up and it is no good, but that's that's the type of shot you're willing to take. Yeah. Like those are high percentage those. shots, yep. You just gotta hit it. Watterson doing a great job, get the ball inside. The ball is blocked by Ava Roseberry. Or sorry, Holly, Holly Snyder, that was Holly Snyder on the defense there. River Valley doing it. Dribble job offense here. Shot is up. Shot is good. There you go. Larry, Lexi Hecker. There you go. Has a 13 point lead here. Just get another stop. Get a here. stop. Yep. Stop, score, stop. As a coach, that's what you look for. And warranted in, in River Valley last game, you said they won their last game. They're not a bad team. Yeah, last game they won 50, 51 to 29. So, I mean, I don't know if it's credited to the offense. And we get a turnover right here. Quickly up the court is Holly Snyder. Turn a roll all right back over. That's Claire Feehan with a great defensive effort there after the turnover. And who other than Sophie Zill for the three? From Cat Gary. And that leads Bloom right back up to 16 yep, points. Yep. And, that, and that's what good teams do. Good teams, too. They, 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 okay, they score. We don't panic. We just come back and run our stuff. As River Valley with the ball, the shot is up. And it is no good. Rebounded by Bishop Watterson as they look to push. 36 seconds left here in the first half. Zeal, good patience. She brings the ball out. They run offense. Shot is up. The shot is good by Megan Geary. Megan Geary. Two points. That's Megan's first basket of the game. 28-10 lead here. Nine seconds left in the first half. River Valley with the basketball. Shot is up. The shot is no good. 
at the end of the first half. Bishop Harley, 28, River Valley, 10. You're listening to the battle in the 614, elevated by elevated events on Yamo Sports. We'll be right back after the halftime show in the work. When the local soccer team brought me to town, I needed a great vehicle to get to practice and my games. The champions at Buckeye treated me like family. That's how I Buckeye. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting it- A pretzel it bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 350,000 participants here in Ohio who take part in high school sports.
When the local soccer team brought me to town, I needed a great vehicle to get to practice and my games. The champions at Buckeye treated me like family. That's how I Buckeye. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 350,000 participants here in Ohio who take part in high school sports. When the local soccer team brought me to town, I needed a great vehicle to get to practice and my games. The champions at Buckeye treated me like family. That's how I Buckeye. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Looking for future leaders we can believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Ohio. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It includes learning to listen, accepting responsibility, being a good role model, and it's about respect. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 350,000 participants here in Ohio who take part in high school sports. When the local soccer team brought me to town, I needed a great vehicle to get to practice and my games. The champions at Buckeye treated me like family. That's how I Buckeye.
We're back here at Ohio Dominican University for the battle in the 614. Third quarter, Bishop Watterson. With possession. Bishop Watterson, 28, in River Valley, 10. River Bishop Watterson will start out with the basketball here. To start the second half. River Valley, excellent possession. We got some stats here for the second half. We start out with Lexi Hecker of the Vikings, who has five points. Haley Snyder has two. Uh, Myla Kenny has two to wrap up for the Vikings. And leading scorer of the game right now for the Watterson Eagles is 14 by Sophie Zill. Alexandria Moshholder has three. Megan Going has two. Lily Mulligan has two. And Cameron Sparks has seven. As River Valley shot is up and it's no good. Bishop Robertson looked to, to drive. Shot is up and it's no good. That's Sophie Zill. With the missed layup. Megan Clawson get the ball over the time line. Ball is deflected. Megan Clawson drives to the basket. Her shot is up. It's good. Megan Clawson for two. Megan Clawson, River Valley. That's Clawson's first two points of the game. Expect to see a little bit more from her, but still early. Lily Mulligan drives to the basket, but we have a 30 second timeout. Now that's coaching right there. Your team is up right now by 16. And for whatever reason, uh, Coach Sam Davis is not happy with what he, whatever he's seen right now come out of halftime, he's not with it right now. So he's letting them have it. I'm pretty sure we're going to come out of this break. We're going to see a total different team from the Eagles. Absolutely. And what I love the most as, as he's talking, they're all eyes on him. All eyes on him, everybody listening. Yes, coach, yes, sir. Nobody's talking back, nobody making excuses. That's what I love about that. He called it 30 second time, I'll do that. Great job by Sam Davis. And it's a, it's a big part on why they're winning by 16 points right here. But I'm pretty sure he's not happy that Megan Clausen just got straight to the basket for that easy layup, that easy floater. So like you said, I see him come out a little bit better, a little bit more energy. As they get the ball in the spark, spark shot is up. It's no good, but you got the own rebound. That shot is up, and it is blocked by Holly Snyder. I mean, you have to imagine that River Valley would they will pick up some kind of intensity coming out here in the second half. Don't think they were just told to lay down and let's get back on the bus here soon. So. Pretty sure they're still fighting. Still a lot of game left. Down by 16, just one possession at a time is how you claw and get back into it. Goes, baby. Basket by Ali Snyder. Ali Snyder with the two. 14 point lead here. Turnover. By River Valley. River Valley down and go up. Shot is up. Shot is no good, but it's rebounded by Roseberry, and that shot is up. And that is good and one, Ava Roseberry. Score the basket for Ava Roseberry. She's the line and bonus. And now, you can look up. We have a 12 point game. You get you see the replay. She missed it. Ava Roseberry is right there for the easy deuce. And now she has a shot for one more, and that shot is up. And it is no good. We have a 12 point game here. Deal with the basketball. They throw it in the spark. Spark shot is up. It's blocked by Madison Ward. That ball will stay here. Everybody in the arena sounds like they were looking for a foul right there. So it's no avail. No referee blew a whistle. Three point shot by Zeal is off. Rebound by Clausing. It's 
getting physical out there. We can't see that, though. As the ball is almost stolen there. We have a carrying violation. I think that's an attest to that physicalness of that defense right now. Referees are still letting these ladies play, which is how we like it here. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebounded by Snyder. Ball is stolen by Gill. Three on two pass break. Passes. Zill is out of bounds. I love how Mulligan, even though she just turned the ball over right there, I love how she came down here full force. Reminds me a little bit of how LeBron, once he starts getting on that freight train type move, it's hard to stop him. And she had that same energy. The ball was turned over, and Gill takes it, misses, put back, and a foul on the floor. I believe that was going to be on Roseberry. Follow Ava Roseberry. She just came and snagged that one out the air. Moss Holder, first shot is up and it is good. Second free throw is up and it's good. Traveling violation. It'll be Bishop Watterson ball. Sparks shot is up and it is blocked. But we have a foul on the play, and that will be on Madison Ward. Nah, that was going to be on causing. There was no way that was on Ward. They got. Yeah, for sure, I'm causing on that one. Well, stand corrected. They said it was on Ward. Sparse shot is up. And it rattles in. Watterson picks up the pressure. Roseberry with the basketball. She gets it over the timeline, guarded closely. Good drive by Hallie Snyder. She is fouled on the play by Cameron Sparks. When you look how this play unfolded. Watch down there in the paint right when she gets down there. Just right about oof, off her feet right there. That was a strong woman down there. Cameron Sparks didn't move easy. Snyder free throw is up and it is good. As you can see this River Valley play, this River Valley team runs their offense pretty good. They run their stuff. Shot is up, and it is good. 31-18 lead, third quarter. Watterson with the basketball in the lead. Zill with the ball. She looks to create. Great patience. Zeal goes up. Her shot is off her body. And it will go to River Valley. Great job by both teams here. River 
River Valley with the basketball. Two minutes, 50 seconds say here. Clausen with the ball. Job still right, her shot is up. And it is no good. Rebounded by Alexandria. Moss shoulder. She looks to push it. Her three is up. And it is good for number 12. Claire Fien. From Alex Passholder. As Bishop Watterson looked to pick up the pressure here. Snyder doing a great job of handling the pressure. Three is up. And it is good this time for Lexi Hecker. Lexi Hecker. It's her second three-pointer of the game. It's a 13-point lead. I mean, they're still in this game. Still a lot of time for them to be able to come back. They have to take it one possession at a time, as we stated before. Just get some defensive stops. As Madison Ward stops the ball in the midair, it's called a turnover. And Snyder drives to the basket. Rose Perry, extra pass. They're allowing them to shoot the ball right now. Ward with the basketball. Clawson's shot is up. And it is no good. If River Valley want to stay in this game, they, Clawson has to start hitting those shots. Good shots, too. Uh, was there a timeout call? <laughs> no. But it was a good oh, save. <laughs> Very good save. Gary with the basketball. Just under a minute here. In the fourth quarter, Sparks with the basketball. She down the post, her shot is up. It is no good, but she get her own rebound. Her shot is blocked, but we have a foul on the play. And I think that will be on number 44, Madison Ward. No, they turned it on, gave it to 14, Ava Roseberry. That's our third foul. Cameron Sparks at the line for Bishop Watterson. Two shots. Cameron Sparks at the line for two shots. First one's off the mark. Substitutions for Bishop Watterson, number 21, Gary. Her second shot is up. It is no good, but rebounded by River Valley. And Clausen looks to push the ball. Pick up the tempo here a little bit. The ball is stolen. Well, now we will have a jump ball, and it will stay with River Valley. It's been a 13-point lead here pretty much throughout the third quarter. As the ball is turned over by River Valley. It's a dangerous pass there by Claire Fien. He was able to get the ball back. Fien with the basketball. Kate Guerin. Watterson looked for take the final shot of the quarter. Shot is up, and it is no good, but the ball is out of bounds, and it will stay here with Bishop Watterson with 4.6 seconds left in the third quarter. Ball is in. Shot is up. And it is no good, but we have a rebound, and that shot is no good as well. So, at the end of the third quarter, Bishop Watterson 34 and River Valley 21. This is the battle in the 614 on Yamo Sports.
Discover the future of recruiting with On Top Consulting. Join us on January 7, 2024 at 8 p.m. for our Zoom seminar in collaboration with Brick League, Midwest Hoops, and IBT Academy. Learn from college coaches how to navigate the complex recruiting process. Only $40 per family. And attendees get a 25% discount on OTC services. Register at ontopconsulting.net or via our Instagram bio, On Top Consulting. Don't miss this opportunity. Four quarters starts with Bishop Watterson with the basketball. River Valley with the steal. Down 13 here in fourth quarter. Last and final frame. Shot is up. And it is good for Myla Kenny. For three. That's exactly what River Valley need to get back into this game. With one more basket, they can cut it to under a single digit lead. But they have to get a stop right here first in order to make that happen. Larson being patient with their offense. Dribble drive. Shot is up and it is good for Lily Mulligan. Does she have a chance to go for one more? And if the referees wouldn't have called that foul, he probably would have had an uproar right here because you could hear that one from over here. Shot is up and it is good. Right back to a 13 point lead. As River Valley get the ball to the high post. Roseberry drive to the basket, her shot is up. It is no good, rebounded by Mulligan. Bishop Watterson looks to push, Zeal shot is up. It is no good, rebounded by Watterson. Zeal get another chance for her shot is up this time and she misses it, but Cameron Sparks is there, but she could not get the rebound. Snyder with the rebound, she hauled it in. Snyder with the basketball. Guarded closely by Gill. Snyder drives to the right. Great defense by Watterson. Roseberry drives to the basket. Shot is up, and it is no good. Rebounded. And it stays here in River Valley. River Valley looks to get the ball in. Shot is up. It is no good. Rebounded by Bishop Watterson. Gill with the ball. She passes Zeal. Zeal shot is up. And it is good. Sophie Zeal. Zeal. Gives her her third three pointer of this game. Bishop Watson looks to take control of this game. Oh, they taking control over at this point. We was quickly becoming a, just a 10 point lead and see how much it's blossomed so far. As Snyder drops to the basket and she's fouled. She go to line and shoot two. See, she comes up to that three-point line with a lot of confidence and not a hand in her face and quickly knocks it down. Sophie Zeal, the junior. Schneider is at the line shooting two. Her first shot is up and it is good. A couple subs coming in. I want to remind you, at the end of the game, Will will pick the solid brick lead player of the game and he will interview him after the game. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm kind of torn between two right now, between Sophie Zill, who's leading all points right now. Cameron Sparks, which really did some of the grunt work, dirty work, blue collar work for her team right now to get them this big league. 
Zeal with the ball. She drops to her right. Step back. Shots up. It's no good. Rebounded by Ward. Great move by Zeal. Just couldn't hit it. Pass almost stolen there. Pecker with the basketball. Clawson got to get going. Snyder with the ball. She drops to her left. She falls down, but Ward is right there to pick it up. Snyder to the basket. Her shot is up, and it is good. Holly Snyder. It's a way to finish the Basket, basket right there. Snyder, Holly Snyder, we're at the line shooting one more. Her shot is up and it's no good. Rebound by the Lady Eagles. Zeal get the screen. She throws in a Sparks. Sparks pump face. Her shot is up. And it is good. Cameron Sparks. Cameron Sparks from Sony Zeal. Bishop Watterson. Cameron Sparks doing a great job keeping the ball high going up. As Zeal boxes out, grabs the rebound. She looks to push. Shot is up. And it is good for Megan Gearing. Yeah, there's pouring on at this point. Wars double team. We have a timeout. 30 second timeout by River Valley. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout, River Valley. The solid, league, the solid Brick League player of the game will be up on our YouTube and social media, Instagram tomorrow. Not today, tomorrow. You can also follow us on social media on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The solid Brick League player of the game will be up on our Instagram and Twitter and YouTube page tomorrow, not today. But we will still announce the player of the game and who they will be interviewed by Will after the game. 344 left here in the fourth quarter. Bishop Watterson running away with this game. River Valley with the basketball. Clawson with the ball. Solid screen set out there. I think these ladies got to still continue to call out those screens. Don't want anybody to get hurt. We're only 3.15 left in this game. Hecker drive to the basket. Her shot is blocked. We're going to stay here with River Valley. Ball is deflected, but it'll stay back with River Valley. 3.08 left here in the third, fourth quarter. Stay tuned. The next game we will have Fisher Catholic versus Newark Catholic here at the battle in the 614 on Yamo Sports. River Valley with the basketball. Clawson receives a screen. Hecker. Roseberry with the ball. They're not looking to shoot here. Shot is up. It is no good as Bishop Watterson is pretty much baiting them to shoot the ball. It's always good to see. You see the energy from that River Valley bench after the turnover. You know, you're down, but... Let's just let you know, you're still having fun. It's mm -hmm. nothing taken personal. Nobody's making any blame why we lost. You know, it's still a team effort at the end of the day. 
five second violation there. Remember, right after this game is going to be the battle of the undefeateds. Fisher Catholic against Newark Catholic, both coming in at 5-0. and oh. So it should be a barn burner in that one also. Ball is stolen. It's a great Snyder. Steal. Great defense by Snyder. She goes up. Her shot is up. And her shot is no good. But she is fouled on the play. And get the replay here. Snyder doing a great job with the quick hand. She get it. Snyder been doing a great job getting to the bucket. She goes up. She almost get a chance for another and one. But she's unable to make that. But she go up to the free throw line and shoot two. Her first shot is up. And it's no good. Free throws up and it's good. 45 29, 2 minutes, 13 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Bishop Watterson with the lead. Coach called out the play. Great up, high, low. Shot is up and the shot is good. Laura Adams. 44, Laura Adams. Minute and 40 seconds left here. I think it's safe to say that Bishop Watterson is probably going to take this victory here today. Shot is up. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Ward. War shot is up and it's no good, but she is fouled on the play. As we see, Ward with the rebound. She gets it. She goes up strong. She's fouled. Yeah, I'm usually one to say it's not over until it's over. And with a basket here, you're down by the next basket, possibly. You'll be down by uh, 17. Yeah. 18 point lead right now, but minute 35 is. Too much to bear. Yeah, just maybe too many, too many baskets to make, too many shots to take. But nevertheless, Snyder, she's still playing, she's still fighting. 16 point lead here. Watterson shot is up, but it's no good. Rebounded by Aaron Murray. Murray. Stolen by Roseberry. Roseberry with the steal. Minute 13, down 16. And the shot's got to go up a little quick here. They're not moving with a sense of urgency. They throw it in to Ward. Ward with the ball. She, gets, she picks up her dribble. Roseberry shot is up. It is no good. Like she got whacked there. 52 seconds left, 16 point lead. Bishop, Bishop Watterson with a great lead. So, 40 seconds left here. Like Bishop Watterson is going to walk away with this game. Who is your solid brick player of the game? Uh, well, seeing how both of uh, the ladies are out right now between Cameron Sparks and Sophie Zeal, like I said it's really a hard call because of they both fought really hard. So I may have to phone a friend. I may have to, you know, uh, do a couple of things in order to get the, the vote from the people, see what they were like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough call on my end right now. Do I, do I have any part in it? Oh, as by Clausen, all means. As Clausen's layup is good, 47-33. I think I think we go go I go with Sophie Zeal Sophie Zeal as uh, the player of the game. So Bishop Waterson 47, River Valley 33. This is the Ohio Dominican University battle in the 614, powered by Yamo Sports. We'll be right back with Fisher Catholic and Newark Catholic, a battle of the five and zero. Oh. We'll be right back. <laughs> 